What's good, YouTube? Because of Kavi here. So, we're diving into a donation request from Galana. You wanted me to do Tommy Emanuel performing classical gas. You gotta love some classical instrumental music. Very excited to dive into this. We haven't had a classical song really on the channel. We've had classical style guitar with singing over it. But we haven't had just a pure classical piece on the channel yet. So, I'm super excited to finally have one of these, especially guitar. Classical is the backbone and the root of all chord structures and shit like that, really. I mean, you'd learn some crazy shit if you start playing classical guitar. I mean, I went out of my way when I was younger to learn that just for chord structure purposes and learning different ways you can move on the, the fretboard of a guitar and stuff like that. So, classical music is amazing. I'm really into classical. Didn't know if you guys knew that or not, but now you do. So, if you're new here. Please subscribe. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Vibe out to some music. There's no lyrics to this one, so we're just going to be vibing and breaking down the fucking structure of this piece because this is a fucking classic right here. Very excited to see somebody play it on the channel. We're going to dive into this. I'm Bacasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. This is Goanna's request for Tommy Emanuel Classical Gas. sliding chord shapes there man so well composed the run that opening run is insane fucking insane that this is one of the hardest things to play on a guitar not because not not even necessarily because of mechanics but because of how fast some of it is the faster you play something the crazier your fingers want to go when you're trying to make them do stuff they just want to go their own way sometimes right it takes a lot of discipline to play stuff like this and not make a mistake He's doing very well so far. sweep down to the fucking high strings and you're gonna hear the fucking high strings squeak he made them squeak right without a, like a harmonic or a squeal essence to it that was like muted with the, the sweep kind of pick the flamenco style kind of shit <sighs> so many different little mechanics inside of here he is going ham his uh he's really clean very clean playing all the notation is very crisp but the high notes come through very nice in between where those accent notes are he's nailing everything here very very well played right here <laughs> He's like, I just need one finger pick. Yep. Very useful. Love that he has that on his thumb. It, uh, it, um, it's very helpful in carrying the, the root of the timing inside of all that chaos that's happening with the notation. That is the very solid backbone right there that's just counting everything. And he needs those notes to come through real nice and crisp to keep the timing of everything. And that's why he has that pick on that finger right there.
stretch cord he just did, like had to throw in there, right? Just had to get thrown in there because that's how sometimes the only way to make sounds to like certain specific sounds that are real quick inside of a classical piece is a weird ass stretch like that. And it's very hard to catch those in between all of your other chords and notes that you're catching. You got to stretch way far to grab this chord. It's so clean right there. So clean. Man, that was seamless. Watch this. This is fucking beautiful right here. he's throwing in with his pick and hand here always adds a nice layer fills in gaps and adds this boom into the classical piece i love whenever they actually implement the percussive guitar into their playing as well and it's so damn hard like to do that it's something that i messed around with for a lot of years and never managed to actually fully master it is such a damn difficult thing to finger pick and fucking slap with percussion at the same exact fucking time without missing anything in all directions. It's very easy to get fucking confused. Your hands are trying to do more things than you have hands, right? <laughs> <laughs> shit out of that guitar i just have to pause real quick and say that that guitar is fucking well seasoned he has played the fuck out of that thing <laughs> imitate what he just did there with those hammer-ons quite right because the timing of it was very strange for a second but that was smooth right there he caught that in a lot of cool places right the timing of these pieces man the timing is fucking impeccable that was beautiful right there i love it he is slaying this <laughs> Right here. Man. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Ooh. We actually got to hear the notation of that stretch chord that time. That was the same one he did that he strummed last time, but we got to hear the notation that time. It's really dark and gloomy, ain't it? It's a darker kind of chord. I knew it would be. Stretch chords usually are a darker sound. This is dope right here, listen to this. Nice. Oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Man, it's such a beautiful trick, but you can only do it on guitars that you are <laughs> super attached to. You can bend the fuck out of the neck of your guitar doing that trick. You do not want to do that too many times, right? You're going to have all kinds of shit going out of whack if you do that a bunch of times. But I learned how to do that when I was really young. It was like watching stupid tutorial videos on YouTube in like high school of little tricks you can do with sounds to your guitar. And that was one of the ones they taught us was bending the neck itself. Yeah, <laughs> he just, man, I'm surprised he didn't break it, to be honest, that was an aggressive bend right there, bent the whole fucking guitar, beautiful, love it. feel the same way. I wonder how many times he had to do that. <laughs> That's a damn hard thing to capture on cam. Like, when you're recording something with a camera and you're, like, trying to play it perfect, your brain sometimes psychs itself the fuck out and you'll, like, mess up the most simple shit that you normally wouldn't. It can happen a lot of times, especially with complicated pieces where it's really easy to overthink what you're trying to do. I can't imagine how crazy it was for him to sit down and make this video because it was probably a very nerve-wracking experience to have to get that perfect like that. Man, he played the shit out of this song. Very, very awesome. Tommy Emmanuel, beautiful right here. Bent the whole neck of the guitar. Clean picking, super awesome notation, very clean notation. I really love this. This was fucking awesome. Thank you for this request, Go and I appreciate you. Original video in the description, as always. Support Tommy Emanuel and all the other artists we have on the channel. That's what we do this for. Get the music out into the world, hang out with each other. It's a nice way for everyone to wind down or begin their day, whatever time it is where you're from. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. We're going to get into the next one. This was fucking dope right here. I really enjoyed the Samba Casa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment your suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang that notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thanks for everything. Peace.